We've already done our prices at the pump segment for today, but some breaking news from Dan McTagg contacted me. Dan, to do with a big player in this region, Irving, what can you tell us? Well, it's not very often you get any type of uh, release or uh, showing of uh, future, but uh, Irving has put out a press release, which uh, uh, is now uh, wide throughout uh, the region, suggesting that it's going to undertake a strategic review uh, of its business plan, which would, of course, include the uh, oil and uh, refinery side of its operations. Uh, It's not exactly well known what they're doing, but no doubt uh, comes as a bit of a uh, surprise uh, for many. Uh, no one would have expected this uh, waking up this morning, but it has enormous implications. Uh, the uh, Irving refinery is the largest in Canada and is the largest on the U.S. and Canadian seaboard. So with 330,000 barrels a day, there's a, no- a lot of speculation as to what is behind this. Reality is that is, uh, it is something that uh, we have to take note of because it's uh, extremely important uh, for the energy sector right across much of North America. Massive news indeed, Dan. And other than what you've just said, at first blush, when you got this release and looked at it, what was your initial thought? Well, I mean, if you look at Bay Dunard last week, uh, you look at uh, Come By Chance Refinery, which I helped save 25 years ago um, and restart. Uh, This is probably a reflection of uh, uh, economic situation, which is uncertain, but most important, the political environment, I think, in Canada has been pretty clear. You have a prime minister who says there's no business case for oil and gas. I think some people who have uh, significant investments are going to take him at his word. So certainly big breaking news coming with that release from Irving. Dan McTagg, energy expert, we appreciate you uh, joining us here on Saltwire to bring us up to speed. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate this.